Ghana's NPP administration inherited public debt as a percentage of GDP of 55% in the year 2017. At the time, there were no hidden debt. Certainly, there were no SLA bonds. We did not be great to them, get fund bond. At the time, there were no Sino Hydro loan. Again, cocoa bills was 1 billion CDs. At the time, arrest owns to contractors was under 2 billion CDs. Today, within six years, Ghana's public debt has become 110% of GDP. Aside from that, we have 70 billion Ghana cities in arrest from 2 billion to 70 billion. Again, they have accumulated Esla bond of 8 billion, Dutch bond of 4 billion cities, Sino Hydro of over $1 billion. If you add all of this, you can understand the magnitude of the mess this government has created and the mess that they are going to be great to another government. Let no one lie to you. Today, our minister was emphatic. He said Ghana's debt is unsustainable. Went further to say that Ghana is not in a position to repay its debt in its current shape and form unless we do what we call debt exchange. By defaulting on its current debt by exchanging with new terms. Simple put, today Ghana has officially announced default of its external debt. That is what it means. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this will mean that by close of this week, rating agencies will downgrade Ghana further to D. D. That is where we are. Ghana will be the first country in the entire Africa ever to restructure its domestic debt. First country. We have joined the Lake of Greece and Jamaica in the last 10 years. I want to say that government statement that the haircut is a, uh, uh, there will be no haircut is a hoax. I've just done a quick back of the envelope calculation. By taking the, the, the back of the envelope calculation, let me say the back of the envelope calculation says clearly that the Dutch bond, for instance, if they exchange the Dutch bond, the terms and condition of Dutch bond to a new terms as announced by the minister, any person who holds the Dutch bond is going to lose 63% of its investment in present value terms. 63%. So the haircut is steep, and that is what I call backbone. It is very steep, and it is going to erode your hair completely. A black will be better off. So, so, so let no one lie to you. Let no one lie to you. We are in trouble. Ghana is in trouble. And to conclude on this matter, 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 colleagues and ladies and gentlemen of the press, Ghana is in for a big haul. Ten years to recover is an understatement. The mess that this government has created will need 15 years minimum to recover. It will call on all of us to boot this government out quickly and to get a government that is supposed to be able to do the job. So please, let's be ready for difficult times ahead, but we'll, we'll weather it together as the people of Ghana. Mm -hmm.